What's good, everybody? Here's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. And see, today, I want to deal with two people, right? Candace Owens and Dave Chappelle. And my God, has Candace Owens grew in popularity over the last few years. Now, I mean, to start a lot of trouble, like she does with her opinions, and to get on the radar, radar of people like T.I. and the radar of people like Dave Chappelle, I mean, she's the number one troll on the internet, in my opinion. But Dave Chappelle gave her a pretty good roasting earlier this week in a special called 846, right? And that debuted on, you know, um, on Netflix's YouTube channel. And he talked a lot about her. And when it talks about Candace Owen, he says this, Dating music! She's the worst. I can't think of a worse way to make money. She's the most articulate idiot I've ever seen in my life. We didn't choose him. You did. They killed him, and that wasn't right. So he's the guy. We're not desperate for heroes in the black community. And he bleep that survives this nightmare is my god dang hero. So she has responded to his tweet, you know, saying that it's all fun and games and she doesn't mind being made fun of. And um, you know, he's a great comedian and that's power. And I mean, you know, I like I like that about Candace Owens. She could take it on the chin, right? Um and, you know, ABL, I think, has responded to this. Brandon Tatum has responded to this. But, see, I always like to bring it back to the core. Why do people like Candace Owens exist in the black community in the first place? And this is what we need to talk about, right? Shout out to Brother George Macon, and he says, you know what? Black people create their own sellouts, right? And... When we get to situations where you have the things like George Floyd, we have situations um, like Ahmaud Arbery, and then now obviously you have the brother in Atlanta, Rayshard Brooks. And every time something like this happens, there is a slew of African Americans uh, who come out and they they talk negatively about um, such people. All right, which is sad, right? But you know what? I, I try to be balanced in a lot of the things that people say on both sides. All right, you know, uh, usually I'm, I'm I'm on the other side with African Americans, right? And I do understand the injustices that we face, and I do understand uh, the issues that we have. You know, nobody's gonna uh, disagree with that than me. But the people like Candace Owens exist. For two reasons. Number one, that's how the system wants it, you know. But the other system is, where is the incentive to stick with your own people? And this is a tough conversation for us to have, especially as black men. Uh, for those of you who are black women, you're listening to this. Uh, we even talk about it in terms of interracial dating. And I'll, I'll use that for an example. And Kenneth Owens is an interracial marriage. You know, a lot of times as black people, as African-Americans, uh, a lot of black men say that, you know, a lot of black women don't treat them like they should be treated. They're not respectful of them. So this is the reason why black men are dating out. All right. I hear this from African men. I hear this from African-American men. I hear this from men uh, of all walks of life in black America. And I would include the other people in black America, right? The immigrant class. And such is the same with black women. Okay. But what I'm getting from both parts is that there is no incentive to stick with blacks. All right. And it comes from this position because as a group of African-Americans, it is our job. It is our duty to look out and put our people first. I'm sorry, I have to say it, okay? As black people, for me, for my for my example, I dedicated my whole platform um, to doing African-American content, to doing black content. You know, some people may not appreciate it, I, I get it. 
some people um, you know might not appreciate what you do as a creator but whenever I'm making content I'm always trying to put my people first you know the people that I grew up around the people that I came up under right the people that that need the most help I'm always trying to put my people first and when I look to give an opportunity or receive one, I'm looking at it from the people that look like me. That's my job to do that, all right? Now, with respect to a lot of blacks, we don't always have that mindset. And we have a lot of beautiful people, man, in the world. Uh, a lot of beautiful African people, a lot of be uh, people in the Pan-African community, a lot of people in the African-American community. And we have a lot of people who talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk, okay? And what ends up happening in our community is when we don't, when we talk to talk and don't walk to walk, we, what ends up happening is that people end up disgruntled. And at first they'll have a pro black mindset. Okay. They'll have a, a mindset that blacks should do this. And then for whatever reason, they'll lose focus and they'll be hurt by things not going certain ways. And they defect, all right? They defect. And then what happens is they go to where other groups are, they go to where other people are, and then at that particular point, they join up with other groups and they end up being used by other groups to talk about blacks or to talk about something else going on in the community. And what happens is, is that a lot of times other people accept our own people before we will because we have certain prejudices because oh they don't talk the same um you know oh they they don't talk black like us they're not as cool as us and you know we we, we keep certain people out and so what ends up happening is that this is this is warfare right when you keep certain people out it opens the door for certain other people to come in okay and when they come in and they can offer them jobs they can offer them uh, homes, platforms, uh, because the dominant society is bigger than us, then, you know, when you can't support them, uh, you can't feed them, you can't hire them, well, then what do you expect? And a lot of times we expect people to be loyal to our group um, that w in which we cannot provide things for. Now, I, I understand that we should be loyal anyway to be loyal. I get it. I understand it. But we got to be realistic. We got to be realistic. People are not going to be loyal to you because you are black. Now you might have, you might be like Dave Chappelle. You might be understanding that you're black first still. You might be in interracial marriage like he is or things like that. But see, the situation is until black people start to realize that these are our brothers and sisters, we cannot hate one another. We cannot turn our backs on one another. Obviously there are some of us that we cannot work with. But the reasons that Candace Owens gets created is partly on our own neglect. We allow it. We do push different people away who don't act like the stereotypical black person. And, 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 and those who have different views for whatever reason, we don't offer enough incentive. Whether that could be a unified incentive. You know, only groups of people that defect like she do is, is she does is a group of people when that, you know, like, you know, what I've tried to work with the race and then I've had this issue and then we want to get mad. Well, we're not paying her. OK, um, do we have things that we can offer her? And I'm not saying that we should, but there are many people who think like Candace Owens who just work regular jobs, who don't even have a YouTube channel. And one thing that we have to be in mind of is that we have to start treating our people better than other people treat them you know that's why i work so hard on my platform you you know I, a, a person should be able to come to my platform and if they're a black man if i if i have the time if i have the ability to do so um i can open you up to certain things you don't have to go to the, somebody else to do it and you, you can come through me right because i'm gonna respect you i'm gonna stick with you we're in the fight together right you are a brother i'm a brother so I want to see you win. But that don't happen in the black community a lot of times, right? And so people like Candace Owens, they get tired of that. And then they want to go to people who support them, even if they might be hated on, right? But they act like they support them. They'll give money. They'll, they'll give them platforms. 
And the thing about it is, is that we don't operate like that for our people. Our schools, a lot of times, we don't even support our own schools. HBCUs, right? Negro college funds, fund for us. We don't even donate money to it. But then when our schools close down, you get mad. A lot of things with voting. A lot of blacks, we don't do that. Then when, when Donald Trump gets in, 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 uh, 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 coming to the, a poll, you get mad. We got to start giving black people an incentive to stick with the race. And a lot of times we don't look at it like that. We're looking at things sort of selfish. Well, I just care about me and all that matters is how I feel and I ain't really tripping off nobody else. And then, okay, so when, when Candace Owens goes and leaves and does something different, now you're mad. No, we got to treat our people the same or better than them. These other countries, Saudi Arabia, um, you know, I, I've noticed how people interact, man, Turkish people. The, their people, they put their people first. So the people want to be loyal, right? And being and, and, and being loyal is employing your people, creating opportunities for your people, keeping your people working in the system that you can provide to do better for you, not taking their talents and going to working for other people and other groups. And we have to be honest about that. So guys, I know you don't like this. So, um, but this is the truth. Subscribe, hit the bell. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Uh, as you know, the buffoon remains of all time. I go to the first comment, pick to the top. I really appreciate you, brothers, for all that you do. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. Don't forget to buy the Black Men at Perfect t-shirts. Join me on Patreon, and we're out. <laughs>